everybody welcome back I'm Laura I know it's been a little while since I've done a video so I wanted to get on here and share something with you now this is gonna be a little bit different but since I am from the south Alabama in particular I wanted to share some southern slang with y'all so if you're interested then stay tuned alright guys so part of the south is gonna be the southern twang the southern way that we talk and part of that is going to be southern terms or southern slang that we use so i wanted to share some of those with you today some of these i think i've even been using wrong or i've never heard of before so here we are let's go our first southern slang is going to be bless your heart now if you hear someone tell you bless your heart they are being very sarcastic toward you and they're fixing to say something condescending is a very condescending and sarcastic way of saying something to someone. Now this next one is one that I feel I have been using wrong or I've had people around me use it in a different way than what I've read it is. And it's the term too big for your britches. Now according to what I've researched, too big for your britches people say is people thinking that they're too into themselves or too vain. That's not the way that I've had it used or I've used it myself. For me, this phrase has always meant that you're getting too smart for your own good, you're giving somebody attitude or lip, and you might just be getting yourself into a situation where you're fixing to get a licking, which is another southern slang, and no, no one's gonna lick you, but you probably are gonna get your butt whooped. So that is one that I have been using in a completely different context and I've heard people use in a completely different context. This word is going to be sugar. Now while most of you think of granulated sugar that you use in your food or drinks, that's not what it means here necessarily. It could mean a kiss or it could even mean a person. Some people call other people sugar. Not the sharpest tool in the shed. This one's pretty straightforward I think. It's basically saying you're not the smartest, you're not the brightest person that there is. Now, a lot of Southern kids will hear this next term or this next phrase a lot in your youth and even into your teens, early adulthood. It's going to be, were you raised in a barn? Now, people don't actually think you were raised in a barn. This is a saying, shut the door. Why'd you leave the door open? You're not in that room anymore. Shut the door. Or if you're going outside, shut the door because you're letting all the AC out. Which down here when it's 100 degrees, that AC is very, very particular. So that is just a meaning of were you raised in the barn, shut the door. You left the door open. Moving slower than molasses. Now everybody knows how thick molasses is and if you're pouring it, how slow it is. This just basically means that you're going very, very slow or something is moving extremely slow. Snug as a bug in a rug. Now this phrase just means that you're comfortable, you're either getting ready to go to sleep and you're tucked in, you're warm, you're at the perfect temperature, you are just very comfortable. Barking up the wrong tree. No, nobody is barking at a tree, you're trying to bark up a tree. They're basically saying you're going about something the wrong way or you're going to the wrong person for something. You're going about achieving a goal the wrong way. Clod hoppers. These are going to be extremely large shoes. It can be any shoe, it's just that it's not fitting to you in your foot size. Hold your horses is going to be one that basically means wait, give me time, hold on. I reckon. This is one that you're going to hear a lot if you're ever down in the south and it just means I suppose or I guess. Now this next phrase is one again that I don't really understand but it's a matter than a wet hen. I don't know, I'm not really big into chickens, so I don't know if wet hens are feistier than dry hens, I don't know. But it just means that you are extremely mad and upset. Our last phrase is gonna be one that I have a personal pet peeve with. It gets on my nerves, I don't like this phrase, and it's over yonder. Now this, when people say over yonder, it could be two feet from you, it could be 50 miles from you. You never know where over yonder is. I hate this phrase, but it is one that is used all the time in the South, and I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. Thanks for hanging with me, guys. Let me know in the comments if you have ever used these terms, if you've ever heard these terms, and where you are located if it's not in the South. And I will see you next time.